after each other, really got after each other. They played hard and physical, and we played hard and physical, and, and at least that's the way I saw it. Bruce might feel differently. I thought they guarded the fire out of us, especially in the half court. And um, um, so I thought our guys competed really hard. I thought that's what won the game for us, was competing hard. It was, it was not a thing of beauty. They disrupted us, and they took off passes and made us look ugly and, and all of that. But we still did enough things well. We made our free throws. We rebounded the heck out of it, and we guarded the heck out of it. And so um, those three things sometimes will, will get you a win. Uh, we, we like it. We like it when it's fun on offense, and it wasn't that much fun on offense tonight, but uh, the final score is fun. So I congratulate my, my guys. I thought that um, I thought the key to the game for us um, and this is what I told the TV people because before the game I had told them that somebody on our team needed to play like a dude. And um, so they decided that Riley was the dude. The dude for us was Jeff Roberson and the defense that he played on, on uh, Harrell because KT's a, a terrific player, one of the leading scorers in this league. And I thought Jeff just was outstanding defensively against him. And um, so obviously James C. Ockham's rebounding and activity level again was, was huge for us. But um, uh, Bruce has done a great job with him. I saw, I saw them play early in the year. And, um, and I told him this before the game or I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it, but it, it, wasn't, it wasn't pretty. And that's the way it is. I, that's no knock on them. That's what happens when you take over a team and a program and trying to get your stuff put in and all that. And um, they're so much better than they were. They're so much better right now than they, than they were early in the season, which obviously is a testament to, to his and his staff's coaching ability and, and, and what they've done with it. The turnovers, could the number of turnovers concern you going forward? Or is yeah, that you know, yeah, it, but it, they bother me. I don't know if they concern me going forward. Here, I don't think we, I don't know if we ever turn the ball over against the press. I, I'm not sure if we had one turnover against their press. And you look down, we have 19 turnovers. And, and so, and some of those, we, we probably had six in the first five or six minutes, and they hadn't even jumped in us yet. I mean, we were kind of doing what we wanted there in the first five or six minutes of the game. And, um, uh, but, but anyway, yeah, that's, that's too many. And, and um, you, look, you look down now, finally our, our guards had some. It's, it's been our big guys that have been turning the ball over, and, and tonight um, we all took turns. You got rebounded by 20. What do you attribute to that? Because it looked like it was a little of everybody, not just one guy. Well, I, I attribute it to Luke getting 10 and James getting 10. <laughs> um, Damien getting 8. No, we, we – um, that's, that, that's a new positive for us. And um, – and, that's a good positive. That's, that's something that if that becomes part of who we are, then that's certainly going to build in a, a much better margin for error for our young team because we overcame 19 turnovers <laughs> because we rebounded and, 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 and shot free throws well. Is Jeff sort of a defensive stopper guy, or is it the matchup? Or? Um, I would say that Jeff is our best perimeter defender. Um, I don't know if we have any stoppers, David. Uh, I really don't. I mean, I, I don't know. Um, sometimes I look at our defensive numbers in, in amazement because I, I doesn't feel like to me that we're as good as our numbers suggest that we are. Um, but Jeff Roberson is a tough kid. He's a very tough kid, and, and he's not afraid of a matchup. He's not afraid of a situation, and he's going to try to do exactly what you ask him to do. And he was so on point tonight. I can't. I can't tell you how good his defense was tonight. It was, they, you know, like any good coach, they run a lot of stuff for KT to get shots, and and Jeff was just there constantly, and um, that's pretty good for a freshman. Talk about the challenge for a young team like this to to try and hold on to the lead as long as your team had to hold the lead today. Well, you know, we certainly experienced what the other other parts like on Saturday. So we, we just got a fresh taste of what it's like to be behind. Um, I think we'd much rather play from the front. It's a little bit less stressful. But um, I, I don't know. You just have to keep you have to keep playing. And you know, so often 
what happens, and it happened tonight, team gets a lead, we get a lead, and fouls start accumulating. The other team sticks their head down, the, the team that's behind, and we've done it, team that's behind sticks their head down and just starts driving the ball at the goal. And either daring the officials to call fouls or daring the defense to get out of their way and so they can lay in. And so now it just becomes they're sticking their head down. That's why we went, went zone to try to try to shut down some of the penetration for a while. And um, uh, but you know I, I don't know I don't I never once looked at my team and thought we were rattled. I, I never I mean what, what they cut it to five. I mean four. I, I, I never I, I never once looked at our, our squad and felt like we were rattled. The problem was they were guarding the bananas out of us and and we we just weren't scoring. I mean that was uh, our, our best offense when we got fouled. That was, that was our best chance to score. So um, and we made you know we made enough baskets, but their defense was good. Two more. How important Please. was how important was uh, the defensive rebound for y'all today? We really didn't allow second chance points for them, and you just limit those opportunities. Well, it's it's huge in any game, and and it, and it's huge tonight. But they are, um, and I told our team this: they're not a great offensive rebounding team statistically, nor are we. But they have one great offensive rebounder, and so and he got five, <laughs> so he got half of what they got. And but we try had to do the best job we could on him. And then try to make sure we boxed out everybody else, and, and obviously, you know, we were able to accomplish that. With as much youth on this team, do you feel like phys the physicality part of it they matched up well as far as just that nature of the game? You know what, Auburn has physical guys on the perimeter, and obviously Bowers is a beast inside, physically, and and so that was my biggest concern going into the game was how we would fare with their physical perimeter, and. Um, you know, Riley on Mason. Um, you know, Shelton and Wade, you know, Canada. And there's a guy, you talk about a guy who's turned himself into a good player. Golly, has is he, is he gotten so much better. And, um, um, but, but anyway, that, that was a big concern of mine. I, I thought we did well, I thought we fought. I thought we, we played as hard as we could. I thought we played physically. And, and obviously, um, you know, you look down and, and they shot 30%. That, you can't ask for much more than that. All right. Thank All you. Right, guys. Happy New Year.